Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Ravi Biradar, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will discuss on how to connect to database and import tables in ADM. So in this uh, uh, video, we will uh, see how to launch the ADM and uh, connect to database and import the tables. So let's go to the first step, uh, launch the ADM. We can either launch uh, a standalone ADM or uh, uh, we can launch the ADM from IRM UI. For launching the standalone ADM, uh, we need to navigate to EDM folder and run the EDM.bat file. And to launch the EDM from ILM UI, we need to log into ILM UI from the browser and uh, go to Accelerators tab and click on Enterprise Data Manager. Okay, in this video, we'll uh, launch the uh, EDM from ILM UI. So let's log into ILM UI. Login using the credentials. Again, once you log in, go to Accelerators, click on Enterprise Data Manager. So the this will uh, download the uh, JNLP file and click on that run ADM dot JNLP uh, to launch the um, Enterprise Data Manager. Once the ADM is launched. We can right click on the uh, custom apps only uh, option and uh, click on new application uh, version to create a new application version. We can name it uh, for demo for this video and click on finish to create it. Click on save to save this application version or else if you want to uh, mine the tables in an existing application version, you can do that by selecting the uh, application version and uh, mining the tables. So in this video, we will mine the uh, tables in the new uh, application version okay so to mine the tables select the product family version whatever the application version we have created go to files click on import metadata from database so enter the connection details in the new uh, dialog box you can create a new connection select uh, any connection you want to uh, mine it from so that is Oracle, SQL Server, uh, DB2, Netraja, Teradata or Sybase. So in this demo, we will uh, select uh, Oracle. Okay, now enter all the details. Once the details are entered, click on OK to connect. And it will prompt you for the uh, profile name. This is for um, saving this connection for the future use. You can name it as uh, Infonscore Demo Profile. So now it, it is connected to uh, database. Now filter out based on the schema from which you want to mine. And click on next. Then either you can go by two options. Uh, go by uh, submit extract metadata as background job or continue extract metadata through EDM. If you have uh, uh, um, more a large number of uh, tables to be mined and it will take more uh, time, then go for the first option, submit extract metadata as background job which will uh, spawn a background job uh, to mine the tables. Uh, if you have a few tables to mine in uh, EDM, then you can go for the second option, continue extract metadata through EDM and click next. Okay, here select the uh, tables you want to mine and select here and click finish to mine them. Here it will ask you for uh, you, whether you would like to mine the uh, child tables also or not. If you want to mine the child tables, then click yes, else click no. Okay. Now the tables are mined successfully. Click on OK and close this dialog box and save the changes to uh, update the repository. So we can see the uh, mine tables under uh, View, Constraints tab, and expand the product family version under which you have mined. And see the uh, schemas so we have mined two tables employee independent so these are the two tables mind you can see the columns constraints okay this is it from this video uh, we would love to hear from you um, you can give us the feedback um, by uh, either of the below links okay thank you for watching uh, have a nice day